Hello, my name is Dr. Amgad Makarius. I am the Chairman of Cardiology at New Health, Nassau University Medical Center, part of the regionalized cardiac care services of the North Shore LIJ Health System. I'd like to share with you today a study that we performed uh, and are publishing titled Planning and Guidance of Cardiac Resynchronization Therapy Lead Implantation by Evaluating Coronary Venous Anatomy Assessed with Multi-Detector Computed Tomography. Now, this study, uh, we performed a um, uh, randomized uh, evaluation where we looked at patients um, going to undergo implantation of biventricular lead placement at North Shore University Hospital in Manhasset, New York, in the United States. And what we wanted to do is, knowing that uh, cardiac resynchronization therapy has really become a treatment option for highly symptomatic heart failure patients with a wide QRS on uh, EKG and depressed LV systolic function, we wanted to see if there are methods to help us uh, better fine tune the placement of these leads prior to the actual implantation procedure. Um, as we all know, success rates of LV lead implantation, including location and knowledge of the appropriate coronary venous anatomy, has become very important uh, in assessing these patients uh, and in planning the actual procedure. We also know that variations in the coronary venous anatomy have been described, um, and even more importantly, as absence of certain target or idealized areas of placement of the biventricular lead, most commonly on the lateral uh, LV uh, cardiac wall. So we sought to evaluate the feasibility of using multi-detector coronary computed tomography, which is uh, widely, widely available and now used uh, uh, to look at the coronary arteries, but we sought to use it to visualize the coronary venous anatomy uh, to help us plan uh, prior to implantation of the um, biventricular uh, leads for the uh, biventricular pacemaker or ICD. So this is a prospective randomized trial targeting uh, patients uh, greater than the age of 18 with New York Heart Association classes 2, 3, and 4 heart failure and an ejection fraction of less than 35 percent who were admitted to North Shore University Hospital and were deemed to require CRT implantation as part of standard medical management. We had a total of 29 patients that were enrolled in this study, 17 males with a mean age at implant of about 67 years of age. And uh, patients were randomized to either pre-implantation multi-detector coronary computer tomography using our uh, scanner, which is a GE 64 detector light speed scanner, or no MDCT, uh, or for, uh, meaning that uh, the MDCT was not actually evaluated prior to uh, implantation of the lead. So we measured different parameters in looking at the uh, CT scan, uh, namely anatomic parameters, for example, coronary sinus angulation, coronary sinus osteal diameter, right atrial width, volume and height, also of the right atrium. All of these were done uh, from the cardiac CT prior to implant. We also measured certain intraoperative or intra-implant uh, parameters, such as the uh, coronary sinus lead implantation time, time uh, from introduction of the lead to cannulation uh, to LV lead positioning, Procedure time, fluoroscopy time, venogram contrast volume were all also measured during the uh, implant uh, procedure. And what we found is our results show that the uh, non-invasive visualization of the anatomy, the venous anatomy in this case, on multi-detector computed tomography before C CRT implantation can lead uh, or can be a useful guide prior to lead implantation. While our numbers um, uh, were not uh, large enough to seek or to find significant differences between the two groups with respect to, for example, intraoperative var variables, we did find that the CS os diameter and the right atrial width both inversely correlated to uh, uh, procedure time. So therefore, 
these um, were found to actually have shorter, so the greater the CSS, the shorter the procedure time uh, was noted. And therefore, LV lead positioning time was also uh, noted to be uh, shorter as well. So our study was really meant to be a, um, uh, the type of study to help further or to help plan future studies to further look at um, cardiac multi-detector computed tomography sort of as a roadmap in planning procedures, not only in electrophysiology, but also in other areas, for example, newer technologies uh, of percutaneous valve implants and other structural heart therapies. Thank you.